Nice. Put that, put that, that goes in this pile. This Watch yourself now. There's too many. All right, I'll put those later. <clears throat> that goes back on. All right, and then this just gets put right into the Tupperware. Hello, this is Kyle Byron, the Toronto Nutritionist, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite recipes for broccoli, and I just make it with some sesame oil and some light uh, soy sauce. Pay attention, because this is going to be delicious. By the way, the broccoli was washed previously, and the countertop was disinfected. Now, of course, you can just pull these parts off throw them over there. So to get this part off, you actually don't cut this. You want to just, you just want to break that off and it actually breaks where it's hardest. Asparagus is the same thing. So this part you can just chuck or if you want to be like really using all your food, which I would totally support, you cut the outsides off and you can use the inside. The yield isn't very good, that's all. So I don't often do this just because of, it's a waste of time. Yeah, so that's fine, that's, that's actually really good. So I could use that. This part is soft, this part is hard. Soft, hard. This will take longer to cook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the stalks and cut them right up to there, and I'm gonna cook that stuff first. Taking off the little flower pieces, snap it, nice. Then I just grab it here and I just ballpark that, tip that, that goes in this pile, the soft florets pile, food waste, five second rule. And then I just chop this up like this. Now these pieces don't look very pretty, they're all weird or whatever, you can just chop it up. Watch your fingers. And then this goes into the stems pile. Alright, so my sesame oil is smoking, that's not good. Watch yourself now. Five second rule. This is too high. I gotta turn this down a little bit. I'm just gonna put the lid on. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna cook that for about two or three minutes, <clears throat> and then I'll throw in the florets. Pet. Okay. All right. So this is all fine. That's all fine here. Situation normal. That smells good. <clears throat> now hang on a sec, it's time to put in the, the florets. And I kind of wish that was all of them. <clears throat> yeah, I do this sometimes. There's too many. There's too many. All right, I'll put those later. And I'm actually gonna add a little bit more sesame oil to this because it's just, there's just so much here. There's, hard, there's a few more drops. Now I can keep those hard pieces down at the bottom or I can stir this around, but ultimately, because there's so much here, I need to put the lid back on or else it won't cook. All right, it's been about a minute. I'm just gonna check on this situation. Yeah, it's, it's not cooked very much, so I wish I could get, I just basically put too much in, so I'm not gonna get the, the delicious sort of browning effect on all of them, but I will on some, and it's fine, it's no big deal. <clears throat> Now if I want, I can add some of the soy sauce now. That will uh, caramelize as well. It will also give some liquid to create more steam to help the cooking process. <clears throat> that goes back on. All right, so I got about a minute on the timer. I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. Two, one, stop. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be done. So this is to your preference. So I mean, it's all edible. You could totally, you totally eat that. It's it's still a bit crunchy um, for what we like at our house. So I'm just gonna cook it some more. Typically, like if you were boiling it, it would be two to three minutes. Um, and it's only been about two. But like I said, it's really important that you put those those harder stems in first. And then when it's done, everything is gonna be equisoft. Equally soft. The same amount of cookedness. All right, 
It's been a couple more minutes. Now, this stuff's all hard. If you're gonna serve this, you have to take it off now. Take it off before it's totally done cooking. All right, and then this just gets put right into the Tupperware where it's gonna live in the fridge. Let it cool down for a little bit for like maybe a half hour before you go and throw it in the fridge. You can't put hot things in the fridge. It can spoil the rest of your fridge dwellers. So yeah, if you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Uh, and remember, you don't have to be a nutritionist to eat good, but to eat good, you have to know your nutrition. And this is a delicious recipe for broccoli that you'll end up eating way more broccoli and that's just good for you. Thanks for watching. My lady, she went downtown. She bought some broccoli. She brought it home. Now she's chopping broccoli. She's chopping broccoli. She's chopping broccoli. She's chopping broccoli.